can't read everything. Right, right. But they, if they say, Raymond called somebody in Iraq who called somebody in Iran, whoa, that looks dangerous to us. They can go in and start reading your emails. They have to know what to look for. They have to know. They have to know Raymond. They have to know Raymond you. Well, I must have done something bad, you know. What? Track their attention. I would, I would have had. Well, we'll talk there. about that because that's what this course is all about. <laughs> the difference between getting a warrant for a crime is I would to look at what you're doing. I say I'm the government. I have to show probable cause that Raymond has committed a crime. Now, there's some exceptions to that, and we'll talk about them, but that's. We'll see the warrant collection for criminal proceedings. You go to a magistrate. It's, a, it's not an adversarial hearing. The prosecutor goes to the magistrate and says, I want a warrant to look at Raymond's emails. Why? Well, we suspect, not we suspect, we have probable cause that Raymond is doing something criminal. They don't have to do that. That's the problem. <coughs> That's the problem. This is a very unusual course because every week we find out something else that may be more, more important than we thought we were going to have taught in the course. So things are happening real time in this course. I and mean, they're not trivial uh, legal uh, discoveries. They're important. Is this, for example, is this collection uh, a violation of the Fourth Amendment? And I decided that to cover this subject properly, 